where we've come to tonight is a very dark location. I'm going to check it on the map. I'm going to guess it's a portal too, but I'll confirm that. But it's a little spooky uh, in that <laughs> this is uh, the ground site of what is known as the Mountain Meadow Massacre. We'll come over here to this sign and we'll read it together. So this is the map. We are right here. And here is the Memorial Overlook. Here's the burial site for the members of the wagon train that were massacred. We'll walk up here. Check out the uh, memorial. It's pretty dark, so I don't know how much you'll be able to see, but there's a memorial here, and this is the grave site. Let's see here. This marks where they buried 34 members of the wagon train. Not all of them were buried here, but 34 are. Looks like it's dated. Mountain Meadow Massacre Gravesite. That's a big stone memorial. I don't want to be disrespectful to the deceased that are buried here. I just wanted to show it to you to kind of give you a feel of where I'm going to be photographing tonight. Let's see what this sign says. So there were 140 men, women, and children in the wagon train. My understanding is that 17 children were spared, but everybody else was killed. I'm not sure if they found the remains of all of them. Well, we're set up, polar aligned, star aligned, and on once again the target, NGC 2276, a very distant galaxy that is approximately 121 million light years from Earth. And this is my second attempt to capture it, but I'm in a different location, elevation 5,890 feet. That's 3,000 feet higher than my home where I tried the first time. Also, this is a Bortle 2, 3 range. Incredible skies. There is no light pollution and very little <laughs> pollution of any kind out here, plus less atmosphere for the light to travel through. So there will be uh, less uh, atmospheric distortion. Uh, it's just the seeing conditions are superb. And in addition to that, even though the telescope I'm using tonight is not as powerful, it's not as big, it's got superior optics for astrophotography. The Maxitoff Newtonian is a great astrophotography uh, Newtonian telescope, reflective telescope. So let's take a look at what we have going on here. So I am tonight shooting with my Orion 190 millimeter Maxitoff Newtonian. Oh, the light went out. Okay, let's see if that'll stay on. It won't. It might be out of battery. Let's plug it in for a minute. Okay, we've started capturing, and there is NGC 2276. There's a little reflection from my camera. 
So let me move this around a little and see if I can get it out of the way. There's NGC 2276 right there. There's the galaxy that interacts with it gravitationally. There's another galaxy out there. And there's another one that's going to show up here somewhere. So, as I mentioned, 121 million light years away. We've just started stacking. There's 18 10 second subs stacked. I used 10 seconds because I can't get the guiding to work tonight. I don't know what's going on with it. So I'm going to just turn the gain up a little and use short uh, duration subs and we'll see what we get. Uh, the moment then, so with 20 stacked frames now, we're at uh, three minutes. Just barely started to gather the data. So we're just going to let it do its thing. It is freezing. It got cold fast out here. So I'm going to go sit in the truck. Well, Shadow and I are taking refuge in the truck because it's cold out there. It got cold fast. And it was like 88 degrees when I left our home. And I think it's about 55 out there right now. You want to come on my lap? What do you want? You want to come on my lap? Oh. Um, there, are, there are coyotes out there. I have his coyote vest on him. And we heard him out there howling. So it's a good thing we have him on. Um, like I said, it's a little spooky being here. The place is a great place for astrophotography. The ground is level, uh, Bortle 2 to 3, uh, high in elevation. Yeah, just great seeing conditions. Um, but... You know, we're literally on the site of a massacre <laughs> that occurred in the mid 1800s, mm -hmm. and um, you know, there's that's the, right outside that door is the the memorial for it. Okay, we are at 334 stacked frames, 57 minutes. Just a couple of minutes shy of one hour. Yeah, let's just let it keep doing it just a little bit longer. I always tell myself I'm going to stop with one hour, or two hours or whatever, and then I can't bring myself to stop when things are going well. My voice is literally quivering. I'm so cold. It's just... All right, we're going to be uh, done here before too long.